Well, good morning, every fishaholics. It is already, well, we're already in April, and it's hard to believe for this time of the year here in Michigan that there is almost, the snow is pretty much basically gone here. And normally at this time of the year, we still got maybe like a foot of snow left on the ground, but that's not the case here in our yard. We got hardly any snow left. Hardly. But I like that. So today, well, I'm going out back to, uh, I, I mentioned it in the last video, everybody, when I was trying to go bass fishing, I trekked out uh, some trout ponds on the way back up north home, and uh, we're going to head back there today. And originally, uh, I didn't plan on making a video today because I was supposed to work all weekend, but uh, my boss granted us the day off today, so that was kind of nice of her. That was actually really nice. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get in the car and head to the ponds and see if we can catch any nice rainbow trout. And uh, feel ready to smash that like button, everybody. So let's go ahead and hit the road. Okay, in that last clip there, everybody, that you just saw, for some reason, my GoPro here, my GoPro somehow mysteriously died because before I left the house, the battery was at like 70-something percent. And uh, when I recorded that clip there of my, uh, my dashboard there, Apparently it said it was like at less than 3%, so I don't know how in the hell that happened, but anyway, we are at our destination. So let's go ahead and get my li lines into the water and see if we can catch any delicious and beautiful trout. Nothing but a warm, mild, beautiful day. This is just how I like it. It's actually really nice to get out here finally and start doing some spring trout fishing. I guess there's a couple other fishermen uh, nearby because there's another car across the pond. So I actually got my rod now all rigged up and sitting on my on a wooden Y stick here. Um, I actually switched uh, baits here. I'm actually gonna try some spawn sacks here because uh, these are known to be very, very popular for trout and salmon fishing here. And since it's rainbow trout season for them to start spawning here, I'm actually gonna try and uh, see if I can catch a bite on one of these bad boys here. I'm gonna give it maybe a little bit of time and see if, uh, if I feel it. If I hear a tug, I'll let you guys know. Hey, So the ponds unfortunately ended up uh, going silent throughout the course there. So I just drove up a little north here and now we're fishing on a river. We are fishing at the river mouth here that leads out to the to a public bay out here. And uh, since it's that time of the year when steel had come up shallow, this is a known pretty good area for, uh, for trout and salmon as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lines out into the river and see if we can actually have a little bit of a turn of luck. And that's what I'm hoping for anyway. But all right, let's go ahead and get to work.
Ooh, what was that? Was that a was that a trout? I think I might have had one there for a moment. I can't be sure. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that was. Either I hit the bottom or there might have been a trout in there. Uh oh, somebody lost their bobber. I don't think this second spot's got anything for today. So let's go ahead and keep on going, everybody. I think we got, we're gonna check out one more location. If not, then uh, we'll have to call it a day. Okay, so honestly, from this point on, everybody, I think any species of fish would be nice to bite right now. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, last fall, I think it might've been like summer, probably towards late October or early November, somewhere in there, I caught a really nice coho here. It was just absolutely a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'll, I mean, that thing was just absolutely a, a nice looking coho there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and keep casting in here and see if there's anything. There's gotta be at least some, some kind of fish in here, whether that's perch, pike, or trout, or even sometimes steelhead. Cause right now, right now at this time of the year, perch are known to be biting pretty decent as well. Cause now that the ice is all gone, but only time will tell of whatever I can catch. But yeah, oh well. But man, it's crazy, yeah. I haven't seen the weather like this in so long. Not a single cloud in the sky all day. That is just awesome. And I think here in Michigan, we only average like 100, 100 like something days of sunshine per year, which, so we only see it for the sun, we only see the, we only get sunny days for only like half a year. That is just so weird. But I guess that occurs when uh, the summer season arrives is when you start seeing more sunny days. Winter time, you don't see all, a lot of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just relax and just keep casting until something happens. Like for real, everyone, my luck needs to turn around quick. I mean, I don't want to waste all of your guys' time watching. I think I got snakes. Anyway, like I was saying, everybody, I don't want to waste everyone's time watching this. I know you guys want me to catch fish. But right now, with just... There's not really that much to fish right now at this time of year. The only ones we could think of is just trout up here. But other than that, where I live, uh, there's not a whole lot to... Uh, really a lot to choose. Maybe I should wait another few more weeks to see if, if I can get any better luck. You guys think I should or or should I just 
what do you guys think should i actually just maybe wait a little longer and wait and just till uh, we get towards may and then i can go into bass mode or you guys want me to just keep on going with the trout until uh we finally uh finally seal the deal with one let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'll, I'll actually uh, make a decision um after i hear back from any of you folks that's gonna wrap it everybody i'm gonna go ahead and head back into town and meet up the family for dinner at a re in a local restaurant it just sucks you know i i was really excited you know my boss let me take saturday off i was hoping that maybe we can turn our luck around but i guess uh we haven't but that's life that's just life so we'll go ahead and get the gear in the car and then i think we'll go ahead and head home Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and just conclude it here for the night, everybody. I'm really kind of bummed out about the conclusion for today's video. I was really excited to that. I was hoping to catch at least another trout. But I guess I learned, I now understand that not every fisherman is meant to go fish for trout. I completely get that. It's just something that here where I live, everybody, it's a pretty popular tradition, you know, to go fish for trout, whether it's this time of year or in the fall. But uh, I guess I'm kind of more of a, a bass fishing kind of guy. That's what I've been experiencing for the last few years. So I think, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, lay low for a little while and maybe uh, come back in a few weeks. And... Uh, Let's see if we can get ready to transition over to the, or the season of bass. I mean, I got my gear already prepped to go, and uh, like I said, we only got a few weeks. But other than that, everybody, I'm kind of tired out, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into bed. So, again, I'm sorry that I could not catch anything today. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. So, with that, I'll just go ahead and let you all go for the night. Peace.